My name is Jim Nolan. I'm the Executive Vice President of IoT Solutions for InterDigital. So as the uh, EVP of IoT Solutions at InterDigital, I'm responsible for all of the Internet of Things uh, development that we do within the company. So that includes a number of, of different, uh, different projects that we're working on, different solutions we bring to the market. So it includes a joint venture with Sony called Convita Wireless. It also includes our product offerings, which include uh, Watt.io or webofthings.io, which is an operating environment for IoT solutions. And then we also have a One Empower uh, platform, which is powered by Watt.io. Watt.io is included with that. And that is a 1M to M standards compliant platform uh, that a number of people are announcing recently that they're adopting as, as a framework for Internet of Things solution. We also use that solution for an intelligent transport application where we're working with several county governments in the UK to, for them, to enable them to leverage the data that they already have from telematics and IoT applications. So we use those technologies to free up the data that they already have from smart uh, car park, uh, traffic information, emergency services, all different transport information that they currently don't have availability to applications, we bring that together and make it available for applications. So we're in a proof of concept trial with them and we'll roll out uh, probably uh, next year a more complete uh, solution and start to commercialize in the UK. Well, within IoT, we see several several different trends within the next couple of years. One is there's a there is a big move within the from a mobile or the wireless side in terms of new standards to enable uh, all of the different use cases. So there's a move to enable a single wireless standard or several standards for different applications. But at the current time, the the, the actual standards, both proprietary and standards based, are kind of diverging. So I think what you'll see over the next couple of years is a lot of work within different wireless standards groups to build new mobile standards that are, that are better suited for different IoT applications. And there isn't just one application, there's multiple different types of use cases. So we don't think it'll be just one, we think it'll be several. So there's some in 3GPP, now in IoT, there's several proprietary ones, and then there, there can be other standards that get adopted for, for IoT. So the Living Network is a concept that InterDigital has been using, or, or a, a vision uh, concept that we've, we've used and we've talked to for the last couple of years. And we see it as broader than just IoT or it goes to all wireless solutions. What we see happening in the network is the network becomes much more dynamic and living in the sense that it adapts to us, it knows what we're doing, it's able to do more with that data. So we see the emergence as an example in Internet of Things solutions of business intelligence, analytics, predictive analytics, machine learning, the mashup of all those technologies and the ability to do more with the information that's collected from sensors, from Internet of Things devices, and to bring more value to people. We think that that's something that will grow tremendously. And when we say living network, the network is changing into something that was just make a phone call or just download something to something that actually is adapting to us. And as, as humans, it's, it's much more interactive with us and we'll even be able to interact with the different machines and sensors that we use in a home or enterprise, industrial, smart city, and it'll, it'll take that information and do, do meaningful things with it for us. Internet of Things world, in, in three words, I'll put more in front of it, or just, or just well, what I'll give you is that it's uh, bigger, diverse, and maturing. Those, those are the three that I would use to define it. Leveraging those three things, bigger, uh, maturing, and diverse, uh, I would say it's the, it's the diversity of different applications, seeing the different parts of the show and seeing many, many different applications. So the number of applications is, is increased tremendously over the last couple of years. 
I think the other thing that, that's really significant in terms of some of the keynotes and, and speeches is a lot of them are, are, are not are talking more about actual live IoT solutions running in the field and demonstrating them or showing them on, on the screen. Where we've, so we've moved past this fa phase of demos and concept to actually, actually showing real solutions. So I think that's, those are the two things I think that are really, really important this year. We're really seeing a, a growth in the industry. Oh,